Uh, so hey guys welcome back to an editing tutorial with Lustre. today i'll be teaching you guys how to edit street portraits in a really dramatic and urban way so first i love cropping my images on four and five because my work is going on instagram uh yeah right now i think it looks okay so we're just going to come down here to the tone curve and apply the tone curve ryan and you can see already what it did but i don't like like the reddish around the eyes and also the tongue the way it comes out it does not just fit to the face so we're just going to come up here and warm it up a little bit but we're going to try not to like overdo it we're going to come down here to the exposure and bring it down a little bit to bring more details to the face and also to bring like that really dramatic vibe and bring out like the details in the face you can really also go up a bit with the clarity the clarity really helps in that and also we're going to desaturate a bit the face just to like make it a bit whitish like a pale yellowish and also just to balance these colors we're going to come down here to the red and also kill it a little bit but right now i feel like we kind of overdid it so we're just going to fix a bit that vibrant you know uh, around here let me see yeah around here should be kind of okay um we're going to come down a sharpening and we're going to bring it up all the way to 70. Um, usually I advise you not to go above that because when you upload your picture on Instagram, you'll become like really soft. And we're also going to bring down the noise at 40. To be honest, there's no specific reason why I do it. I just love doing it. Um, I'm not going to press auto because I actually love like how the how the picture is like the composition and everything. We're going to come down here to this highlight priority and you go you come to amount you just bring it down a little bit. Basically what it does it darkens the edges and focuses more the viewer on the portrait. So it's really good also to bring the attention of the viewer to your portrait basically. Um the orange is kind of like really good like the it looks okay but i have a problem with the face i feel like it's over desaturated so i might bring a bit of saturation just to bring life to the portrait okay right now i think i'm done playing with the colors and everything i'm just going to take this brush actually this is like also a good style to bring really like that attention to your portrait so what we're going to do we're going to darken the portrait like really dark then we're going to come to lighten here on this brush you just come down here and click so you can see what i did here you go to effect you just click here i think lighting is already there it's like a customized brush in in lightroom so you just come down here and do this just do it on the face so basically what it does it just like brings really like a lot of attention on the face while the other part of the picture is dark so I don't know just it's just a cool style you can edit normally you can do this it just really depends on you so this is kind of what i do and i almost forgot you can see here the hairs are a bit like too bluish and i don't i don't like it so you come down here to the bluish colors and really you can adjust it so i'm going to make it a bit grayish but yeah so right now it looks kind of decent and i like what i did and also i'm going to come here just to play a bit with the eyes i'm still going to come down to this lighten brush and make sure it's a different brush because this one is what i did already if you want to create a new one so you can come here you press new and make sure you don't you don't do a mistake um normally i'm supposed to like zoom in to do it but it's nothing like hardcore so i think i can succeed with my hands but usually I advise you to zoom on your pictures when painting so you just have more detail and precision so right now it looks okay and you can just click on the brush actually don't click just like keep your mouse on the brush to see where you painted it also helps you keep track of like whatever you did and sometimes in some portrait you need more precision in that so I always advise you to do that uh, right now we're just going to look over and see what I missed um, to be honest, it looks pretty decent to me. It's well dramatic. It's urban compared to the beginning. You can see this is the uh, before and this is the after. It looks pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you. Bye. See you next time.